people never understand where I came from, no matter how much I, I try to explain it, it, they wouldn't understand what it, what it, what it, it was to, to walk in darkness. In the summer of 1977, New York lost its mind. We had uh, a blackout in which 3,000 people were arrested. The city is preoccupied with the killer who in one note signed himself the son of Sam. Most of the victims have been young women with shoulder-length dark brown hair who were gunned down as they sat in parked cars or walked the sidewalks of the Bronx and Queens. He struck again over the weekend shooting a young couple in a Brooklyn lover's lane and today the girl died, the killer's sixth victim. He's wounded seven others. I should have been dead. What do you remember from the shooting itself? The bullet totally destroyed the left eye and most of my right eye. The only substantial clues so far have been two letters, including one mail to the New York Daily News. He was writing about a dog that talked to him, gave him orders to kill. Serial killer's about to walk in here and talk with us. That looked like him, right? Hey, God bless you. Maurice, Steve Bois. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Glad to meet you. Thank you for talking with us. Sure, okay. It's a, it's a big step, you know. It's I have step? my mis yeah, mis misgivings and nervousness. Is this a special place for you? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a place of refuge. I've been locked up since the time of my arrest of just under 40 years. You just turned 64. Yeah, I just turned 64, yeah. What would you tell 23-year-old David Berkowitz today? Uh turn around before it's too late because destruction is coming, you know. And Maurice joins us now. So Maurice, after that initial introduction, to sit down and talk to this man, what was that like? It's on all levels disconcerting and disturbing and worrying. But at the same time, one of the most striking things is the fact that this guy looks like anybody else. He could be anybody. 64 years old, aging, getting, getting a little soft around the middle there, um, nervous you know, sort of fretting. He, he could be anybody, and that's, that's really striking. You not only talked to him, but you also talked to his victims. What was your takeaway from that? We spent a lot of time with Robert Violante. He was the one who was with Stacey Moskowitz, the final shooting on the Bell Parkway in Brooklyn. Um, the intensity of it all still lingers to this day. Forty years later, a young man who was 20, had everything going for him, good-looking guy, was ready to become a model. His life was in front of him. He was happy-go-lucky, and it boom, it was just shut down. He holds on to it. It's deep, it's visceral, still bitter, and forgiveness is very hard to come by. Were you surprised when he first walked into the room? Kind of speaking like an honor to meet you, and just seemed so polite, almost too polite. He didn't know what to expect. I really yeah. didn't, and that, that's, that's a good way of putting it, because, like, wait a minute, yeah. you know? Son of Sam, yet deferential and... And, and, and polite and all that. So, yes, it was, it was very off-putting in many ways. But, but as you'll see, a lot, he, he comes up, he, he has a lot to say. Um, he's very opinionated. And uh, I'd like to hear your opinion afterwards. Yeah, no, it looks fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Seen so far. the city in fear at the time. Yes. Maurice, thank you. And you can watch Maurice's special, Son of Sam, The Killer Speaks, tomorrow night at 10, right here on CBS2.